ان الحمد لله ان الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له ونشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له ونشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله وبعث فان اصدق الحديث كتاب الله وخير الهدي هدي محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم واياكم ومحدثات الامور فان كل محدثه بدعه وكل بدعه ضلاله وكل ضلاله في النار الحمد لله القائل وما خلق الجن والانس الا ليعبدون وما اريد منهم من رزق وما اريد ان يطعمون ان الله هو الرزاق ذو القوه المتين الحمد لله الذي خلقنا واوجدنا لسبب وهدف وارسل من اجل تلك الاهداف وهي الايمان والاسلام وعباده ربنا عز وجل الانبياء والرسل my beloved brothers and sisters in islam all praise due to allah the most magnificent the most merciful the all forgiving the one who created us for a purpose and make sure that we know the message for which he has created us in this dunya definitely for the living of the hereafter which is eternal and we only need one indeed that is the one and that is the end that endless bliss bliss of the hereafter in jannah al-a'la jannah al-firdaus my beloved brothers and sisters in islam remember when we are going to expire from this dunya كل نفس ذائقة الموت. Each one of you are going to taste from this death. When the time will come, the angels will appear. You will be able to see them. And those who will be unfortunate, and we pray to Allah that none of us are, would be saying, "Rabbi Rabbi 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 that person will remember Allah at that point that person will recall Allah at that person in his, at that moment instead of thinking of somebody else instead of thinking about his wife or husband instead of thinking about his dunya or directors or ministers or prime ministers and kings and queens he would be saying my lord there would be no others he would think not that Jesus or Isaiah or anybody else not Bhagwan and Lakshman or Ram or Sita but subhanallah only one and that is Allah will say as Fir'aun has said Al-Ana amantu bi Rabbi Musa wa Harun now I believe in the Lord of Moses and Aaron but that was indeed too late because that is the point in which everybody they came around 180 degrees if they had not been chained at that point before they will say, Rabbi Tiruni la'al ya'amal salihan fi ma tarak. Ya Allah, ya ilah, ya Rabbi, return me back to where? To this dunya, indeed. What? You still need promotion. Instead of being an acting, you want to be the real one. Instead of being the deputy, you want to be the prime minister. Allah, Allah. Instead of being this, you want to be that? No. Rabbi Tiruni la'al ya'amal salihan fi ma tarak. For one purpose, Ya Rabbi, Ya Ilahi, the one who has created me, I want to worship you. I want to be a better servant to you, Ya Allah. I want to be a Muslim. I want to be a woman. I want to be what you want me to be. Fima Tarat. Do you think it would be granted? Come on, give me a break. You are not the first one, neither will you be the last. Everyone has said that before you. So do you think it will be granted to you? La'alli amalu salihan fi ma tarak. Kalla. It is just something which he says because when he sees the stupa up there in front of him, he knows that he is going to die. He already knows where he's about he, he about he. he has already seen the angels who came with the shroud from the hellfire. He can see them 
physically in front of him. And he already knows the angel who is sitting beside his head. And he's coming to take the ruh out. فَيَقْرُجُ مِنْهُ كَمَا يَقْرُجُ مَا مِنْ فِي السَّقَاءِ فُوْ أَهْلِ الْجَنَّةِ The ruh will come out. The sound will come out like water coming out from the vessel for Ahlul Jannah. But for Ahlul Nar, it is totally different. The way you take out, you take out the thorns out from the cotton. You know the way it comes out, so bleeding it, whatever. It comes out something like that with the pain. He knows it is going to happen, and that is why he is saying, "Rabbi Kiyoni Nar Al Yamalu Sawli Al Fi Matar Fa Yuqalu Lahu Kanda Yu Basku." In the Hakalimat Al Muamba Iwah, with no meaning, he is only saying it. And if he repents back, he is going to go back to the same. And that's why Allah knows it. And that's why it is not going to be granted to him. When that time will come, Bismillah ta'ala, we all are going to pass. Bismillah ta'ala, that is what we should pray for. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when the angel will come, we will say, Ya iya tuhun nafsi tayyina, ukhruji ila rizum ila wala. Ya kut sa'u, ya ruh tayyib. Allah, please, and go to the pleasures of Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala, look at that moment when you will smile and raise your finger and say, Ashhadu Allah ilaha illallah wa ashhadu anna Muhammad Rasulullah. For the last time, when you will close your eyes, a smile which you cannot control coming out from your lips, you are there for so long, and yet when people will see you as if you are still smiling. As if you are trying to have a control on your smile, but it is, it is there. Nobody is going to take it away from you. Forever, that image permanently is on your face. You have no control over it. You have passed. You have expired. You are dead, but only from this dunya. The next stage starts. Once you are born, you never die in that sense. You go from one stage to the other. You die, you are considered dead. Indeed, you are dead, but only to this dunya. You go to the next stage, before the final, and that is Hayatul Basakh. And once you cross that, you make it to Yawul Qiyamah, which we all are going to. Indeed, there is no doubt about that. Of which Aisha, once of Allah Ta'ala Anha, our beloved mother, Rabbi Allah Ta'ala Anha, she was with her, with her beloved husband, Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. She saw him, and she came out, and she, she was thinking hard, a young woman, but a mother. So much of knowledge we have in Quran and Sunnah, we struggle to memorize, and she had it all, right here inside her head, Rabbi Allah Ta'ala Anha. So, Rasulullah said, Ya Aisha, what is this? She said, Ya Rasulullah, you know, um, you are testing me, and, and I, I can see you, and you know, physically, in every way, you are beside me, but you will tell me, I thought about when, when you will tell me, because of the deeds of people, everybody will be so far away from each other, you know, Ya Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam will be able to see our families, and you know, and things, of course, indeed, we will be, as Yisrael Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, we will know our families, in love with Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, except in a few places. إذا تطير بالسحر، إذا وضع الميزان، وإذا وضع الجسر أو وضع بالجسر. Three places you forget about everybody. We know that يوم القيامة basically everybody on their own. يوم يفر المرء من أخيه وأمه وأبيه وصاحبه وبني لكل مري منهم يوم إثنين شأن يغري. When you are going to run away from your enemies. From those who you owe money to, those who were afraid, you were afraid of, from the lions, from the tigers, from the cheetahs, from from snakes and cobras. No, you are going to run away from somebody who is even more dangerous than them. What are they? Your father, your mother, your wife, your brother, your sister. If you are given the opportunity by Allah, you will run away from your own self because. That moment is there. On that day, on that time, at that particular time, Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, in three places you basically nafsi nafsi. And that is Zadataya that this side. When your deeds will fly, literally. You may have seen it only in here reporters where the books they fly, isn't it? But that is that's a fake thing. Here yeah, we are talking about something which is real, man. Here we are talking about rather something which is real stuff. 
When the sahab, when the books will fly and come to you and you are watching, you don't know whether it is going to come and you are going to receive it here in your right hand or is it going to come in the left and you are going to receive it from the side or from the back. In suspense, you are waiting for the time to come. Moment, you will forget about everything. It's a bully al mizan. Where the mizan, the steel will be part, a real physical steel for the measurement in whichever way you want it, it is going to be done there. Real scale. Your needs, which you may have forgotten, which you have done and you are not even aware of, things you may have said, things you may have said of good and bad, you don't even recall. Our memory is so sharp, so small, so big. Everything will be presented. Don't think that you will be intimidated. You will be given all the opportunities but you will not be able to defend yourself. Everything facts are in front of you. After all those record are the angels on the right and the left. Among the things which you are taught, if you want to be a past security, then make sure that everything you hear in a meeting, you make talk of it. Don't depend on your memories. You forget it by the time you get out of the meeting. Here these angels, they record it all. Nobody can change it. Nobody can clear out the people's. Papers. Nobody can say, oh, memory lost, computer crashed. Blah, blah, blah. Nothing like that at all. The liar is. You are waiting for that to come. And then now, the measurement, you don't know which one is going to be more, heavier, stronger than the other. You are in total suspense. <coughs> and then, is a wood and The jizr, the sirah, the bridge which you are supposed to cross. Subhanallah, I to mean a safety. What that for me to shy? It is more narrow, narrower than the hair and more sharper than the sword. Anybody you have hair is able to cross something which is more sharper than a sword. I have heard of one. And you don't think that this is just some form of parable. No, it is going to be really a sad part. In the Yasirun Allah the Jannah is easy for whom Allah makes it easy here. Yeah, that's it. Bang, bang, bang. Few people just like that. In the speed of the lightning, the speed of a flick of an eye, the speed of a fast horse, the speed of a sprinter, the speed of fast pace walking. But some really struggle and crawl and fall down. But still the hooks on the side will take them up and throw them to the other side towards the side of the Jannah. While these things are happening, this Surah which we are talking about, imagine you will forget about everything. Am I the one who is going to get to make it to the other side? That is the question. It needs to be answered. You, you don't need to tell me. I don't know about, about myself. But, you know, we should have a reserve we have positive. We should think positive about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you do what you deserve in the right way, you will never go wrong. You will, brothers and sisters, never go wrong in that. I'm telling you, Allah is Wala Yaqlimu Rabbuka Ahada. Wala Yaqlimu Rabbuka Ahada. Allah is never unjust to any one of us. He's going to give you what you deserve. And even more than that in Quran. Now, that is me. Those who are Mushrikeen, Kuffar, Nasara, Yahud, Hindus, Sikh, you name it all, they are way back. With us on that bridge would be those who have been hanging around us, showing themselves as they are part of us, and yet they will be in the deepest of the hellfire, in the munafiqin, of the they will also come with us to the inner bridge. Remember the hadith, Bashir al Shahina, I'm pretty sure you have heard about this hadith. Give the glad tidings to those who go to the masjid in the darkness with full, complete light, Yawm al I know that this country is fully lighted. You don't have any darkness. It does not literally mean that. It technically means in darkness, night, 
صلاه الفجر وصلاه العشاء صلاه العشاء من صلى صلاه العشاء في جماعه فكانما قام نصف الليل ومن صلى صلاه الفجر في جماعه فكانما قام الليل كله if you pray صلاه العشاء in jama'a you get the rewards of half of the night if you come back to complete it with salat al-fajr wallahi you get the rewards of the entire night of prayer Imagine in winter, when Isha finishes by 7 and Fajr starts at 5, 10 hours of prayer will lay on daily basis. Who can do it? You can't even watch, watch movies for that long, isn't it? Cricket games, you get tired after one hour. 10 hours of salah. I'm, I'm not an alien. We didn't come from the moon. Mashai, they are also like you and me. Right? Let us face the facts and speak it out. 10 hours, you can't do anything for 10 hours. You can't even sleep for 10 hours, man. So, but you get the Qiyamul Layl, the toughest part of it. All you have to do is salli salat al jamaah Pray in jamaah Jama'ah doesn't mean you take your wife and come back here. Come on, so Allah will No, you have to make it to the masjid salat al jamaah Whenever salat al jamaah Lord, this being referred to with the veggies and significance, it relates to the masjid. So, Bashir in jamaah you get that light your own Qiyamah. And you need it in this jisr. This is a specifically tailored, custom-made life only for you. <coughs> Not even for your child, for your wife. No, it's for you. Your neighbor, your friend, your brother, your sister cannot see through that life. You are the only one who has been given the key to that life. Some will be given the light according to everybody according to the Iman, only where the toe is. Some will be given far where they can see. But everybody through that light will cross to the other side. Enough light will be given for everyone to make it to the other side. Now this Munafi king will be hanging around with us and trying to show the town, you know? So they will come to the Nari Jahannam. Uh, Nari Jahannam is under the Jisu, remember that break, which we just spoke about five minutes ago. Now, then they will try to cross with us. And when they will try to attempt and they can't see, so, you know, they will say, Andiruna naqtabis min nurikum. Please, please, brother, have a, have a, Khadija Maryam. Come on, man, I'll ask with you. Just wait, I want to, I want to have the support of the light which you have. We will say, tell them, tell them, you know. Go back and find your door, your light there, maybe out there. Once they go back, they will not be able to come back. And of course, they won't be able to cross the jar, the jisr. We don't want to be even that. As I said, Mushriki, Yahud, Nasara, Sif, Indos, Buzi, Mulhid, they are way long time gone inside. The last ones remaining. Try to imitate as if being one of us out of another thing, and still they won't be able to make it. And then we make it to the other side. And then we make it to the other side. We pray to Allah to be among those who do make it to the other side. Then we wait in a place from where we are going to make it to the Jannah. That's beside the point today. But let me finish it up with the last man who would be facing to the Narita and uh, Jannah is on the other side. He is facing towards that and he is getting the heat of the Nari Jahannam. And he is pleading to Allah, Ya Allah, you know, at least, Ya Allah, you know, I don't be, I used to pray, Allah, I don't know how he will make this du'a. But part of it, that Ya Allah, at least take my face away from Nari Jahannam and let me face to the Jannah. Now he, that's all I want. He will be granted. You won't be asking anything more, isn't it? No, 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 you're that, That's all, that's it. I, I'm fine with it. So, he faces to the Jannah. Alhamdulillah, at least the heat from my face is gone. You know, you think they're at rest for a while. You see the Jannah and, and wow. Oh, mashallah. You, 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 get, you get the glimpse of what Jannah is all about. Then after a while you say, Ya Allah, you know, I'm so far away. And, and the Jannah, Ya Allah. Excuse me, please, Ya, ya Rabbi, can, can I go a little bit forward? Can I just go inside the door? Uh, no problem, no Jannah, nothing. Just, just let me be inside the boundary, you know? Allah will remind you. Come on. Didn't you say that if I take your face face away, turn into the Jannah, and that's all you needed? And that's all you want? Of course, Ya Rabbi. Well, I keep, you know? Allah will not punish me for that. It's natural. How many of you 
can control yourself from entering the Jannah if you see Jannah in front of you. Nobody. For things far less. Things far less. If I start to give examples, there is no time for that. You don't have control here, isn't it? You give excuses to anything you have no control on. Basically, we have lost control over almost everything. Right? So you, you claim that he did something wrong because he didn't do it. So he will be allowed to enter the Jannah. Not the actual Jannah, but inside the boundary. And then you, you already know the story of the next, right? You will say, Ya Allah, I want the Jannah itself. And Allah, the Fulu Rahim, will have. Wallahi la na'dim, la na'dim khayran min Rabbi, yadha. The Rahmah, the Khair will never be less or never will come missed from a Lord who, who, who loves. Allah will laugh there and he will say, okay, you have the Jannah, the size of this dunya, wa ashru anthaliha, in ten times as big as that, is the big Allah. You will keep, that person will keep on asking, this is the last one to make it to the Jannah. Hadith is a Muslim of India. Wa fi ghali. And you will keep on asking and keep on asking, Allah will help you to ask about this, ask about this, ask about this. He will keep on. La ilaha illallah. And then once he finishes, Ya Rabbi, all these things, what? Yeah. And then still on top of that, Allah is going to be blessing you more. Imagine if this is the blessing of Allah, Rahmah of Allah, waiting for me and you. Allah wants so little from you, brothers, for a life which is eternal place. Have you ever thought what it means? Khalidan fiha muqaddada, khalidina fiha, forever living in it? We know the meaning, but I give you three seconds. Think of it, or five seconds. That what is it, eternal living? What is I'm going to be there for many million years, two million years, three trillion years, ten? You can't. When it comes to this real thinking, what is it? You, you get my point? So it's. Imagine for that Allah has ordered you 30 years to 40 or 50 years or 60 at the max of your life before you became Bali, and which means that we got mostly by 70 anyway. Oh, that, and not even that 60 years of its whole life, yeah, from that 60 years each day, Allah has ordered you to give him one hour, five times or minimum. One hour? Yes. So if you make what way come to the masjid, it's total of two hours. Can you do that? Two hours from 24 hours, make it three hours. That's just about 10 percent. Yaki, yaki, six years of your life. Six years of your life to make it to that eternal place and you fail. <coughs> I just wonder what kind of IQ I and you carry we fail in that. Inna fi dhalik al ibrahim man tazakir fatta'in zamin al-fat. Inna alhamdulillahi wa suratu wa salatu ala rasulillahi wa ba'ala. Brothers, we may think that Islam to follow the footpath in a, to follow the footpath of Islam is just about not possible. I say it is Allah very easy, very, very easy, I'm telling you. <laughs> Don't think that what were in the times of Sahabas we cannot do it, but Allah we can. If there are difficulties in certain parts of being a Muslim, Allah has made it easy on the other parts of being a Muslim. And with all these fitting which is in every house. I challenge anybody who can claim that there is no fitna in his or her house, which may not have been the case in the time of Sahabas. But other things are made easy for us. We no longer need to make water with cold water. We no longer need to be in a heat, heated place because we have got air conditions. You no longer have to do sujood on the floor because you have got soft places. You, the least carries on. You no longer have to go hungry because Allah has given you enough. So when difficulties are in other things, ease has been given in other things. I would like to conclude with one of the Qudat of Saudi Arabia. He was in one of the lectures of one of the Mashaikh in Khalid. And uh, he was talking about some other favorite things. Then he said in the hymn to this question, to, to
to this lecture. You know, you have mentioned the story of my father. Okay, what's the story of your father? And he's a father, a known father in, in, in Saudi, one of the places. I just um, don't recall his name right now. Um, he said, my father he was very, very sick. And he went in coma. He was taken to the hospital. Um, and now I don't, I don't recall extreme uh, details, but the theme of the story is as I relate. Then he was more like a vegetable, totally unconscious, no communication whatsoever with this world. And medically, those who are doctors here, they know what I mean by this. And at this time, he started to talk. He says, he's talking about Jannah and describing the Jannah, describing the holy and the ways of the Jannah, the food of the Jannah, the river of the Jannah, the water of the Jannah, the yogurt of the Jannah, the wine of the Jannah, the houses and the palaces of the Jannah, imagination in which you can imagine any good thing which is in the Jannah, what we have been given from the Quran and the Sunnah, and the way Rasulullah said, if you are following the Quran and Sunnah, you are going to make it to the Jannah, and he is talking. The doctor, he got shot. He called the director, the chairman, the main doctors, the supervisors, and the advisors, and the nexus, and the doctors, and those who were around, we are listening. Astronauts, shot, captivated, they don't know. What is happening in Aftermath? The son is saying that. He looks up, and he says, all of these people are crying. <coughs> The father, he says that we didn't know how we were crying because of what he was speaking or did we cry because he woke up all of a sudden. And then he said, Atakuna ala rajulin, Atakuna ala rajulin, Atakuna ala rajulin in Ahle Jannah. Are you people crying on a man who is from Ahle Jannah? Remember, he's alive in this dunya and he's saying that. And he says, Wallahi by Allah. I can see Malakul Mot in front of me. I can see Wallahi in the other door. I can see the mind. I can see the mind. And then he says, Wallahi in me. Love in Ahlil Jannah. Malakala. Wallahi in me. Love in Ahlil Jannah. Wallahi in me. Love in Ahlil Jannah. So much the Shahada wa Mata Rahimaha. He said, By Allah, I am from Ahlil Jannah. And then he says, The Shahud. And he dies there. Rahimaha. By Allah, Ushidullah. Allahi la ilaha illahu. Illahu. I'm ready any time for that kind of death to come to me. And I'm pretty sure each one of you, but Allah is ready if that kind of death comes to you. You will never think twice about your wife, about your children, about your about your business, about any pending matters, because you know everything which you are doing is to get to the Jannah, and now you are going to be given that. You are not going to get it at all. So do you think that it is only for that man? No. It, is, it can be for any one of us. Every one of us are given equal opportunities to get that, to, to that point. So let us ask Allah that may we be among those. Yes, our sins are forgiven. And we give the shahada before we die. Yeah, Allah, we are in the time of fitan and mihan. We are in the time of prayers and revolutions. And it has, which is so much in extreme. Yeah, Allah, we are weak, but we are your creation. Yeah, Allah, the only reason we commit sins is because we know your rahma is more than our sins. Ya Allah, abuka ahabu ilayna min adli. Ya Allah, your forgiveness is more beloved to us than your justice. We know, Ya Allah, you are Ghafur Rahim and that's why we keep on committing sins. We know if I make a mistake, my wife is going to kick me out of the house. But I know, Ya Allah, regardless of the millions of times I make mistakes, you will always open the door for me. And that's why I have people making mistakes, Ya Ilani. And then I come back to you as a beloved servant to you. And I cry and I plead and I and I grieve. And you give me and cry what I need. And that is what I ask you again, Ya Allah. That Ya Allah, forgive our sins and whatever shortcomings which we have. Ya Allah, make us among those who are like the Sahabas. Ya Allah, yes I know that I'm a sinner. I think at times that I'm not going to make it to the Jannah. But I know Ya Allah, if the blessing of yours is with me, nobody is going to keep me away from the Jannah. And that is what I want, Ya Allah. Maybe I'm not known to people at all, but you know me better than me, myself, Ya Allah. Ya Allah. I may be a sinner, I may have less than what others have, but I know that, Ya Allah, I do love you. In my own way, maybe it is not enough, but make it enough so that I can make it to Jannah. Ya Allah, make my love for you so much that no other love comes in between me and you. Ya Allah, 
Islam is not only for the best, it is for those who are the normally standard people like me and you. Ya Allah, we can't spend the entire time in the masjid. I cannot, cannot memorize the Quran and know all the hadith. I cannot be a khatib and imam. I cannot be all of those. But I can be what I can be and that is I love you Allah. My heart is only for you Ya Allah and for nobody else. Ya Allah, at least with this was uh, Ya Allah, forgive my sins and make me from Ahl Jannah. Ya Allah, Amin. ربنا أتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا عذاب النار اللهم إنا ظلمنا أنفسنا وإن لم تغفر لنا وترحمنا لنكوننا من الخاسرين اللهم عنا لذكرك وشكرك وحسن عبادتك يا رحم الرحمين إن الله وملائكته يسلمون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما أبو السلام